One of the things that you see with trends is that people tend to get hyper-focused on what the youth are doing. The truth is that the youth is becoming a smaller and smaller part of our society, still extremely influential, but there's this much bigger group, which is the aging group, that is going to become more important in terms of determining what the future trends are going to be. We're living a lot longer than we used to. Uh, for example, in a country like China, back in the 1940s and 50s, the average Chinese person lived to the age of 40. They're now living to the age of 80. There's going to be a huge number of people over the age of 40, into the 50s, and into what used to be the retirement ages because we're, we're staying around a lot longer. As this group expands, it's going to become more important in terms of trends. The next thing that's happening is we're becoming much more urban all around the world. The single biggest migration of, human, of the human population is the one that's taking place right now and has taken place over the last 20 years. And that's a massive number of people moving from rural areas, from smaller communities to bigger cities. The UN predicts by 2050 that 66% of us are going to live in a major city in this world. So what are we doing to figure out what older people want? Because we spend an awful lot of time talking about young people setting trends. And what are we doing about people living in cities? Because that's going to be the political and business agenda going forward.